What did I say? Did you hear what I said? I know what I said because I was standing there when I said it. Let's discuss. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to inform you that Black Adam currently sits at around 300 million at the global box office. And the experts are reporting that it would be lucky to crack 400 million by the end of its run. Now take this into account, this is a movie that had a 200 million dollar production budget. It also had at least 100 million plus in advertising costs. And when you factor in everything that went into creating and promoting this movie, it needed to make about 600 million dollars just to break even. And if you are one of the apologists who say, well, it'll make that up in the China box office. Not so fast, because the film is reportedly being banned in China, because Pierce Brosnan, one of the leads in the movie, actually supports the Dalai Lama. Seems like a strange reason to not release a movie in an entire country, but hey, I don't make the rules, apparently China does. I'm nobody's bitch! So what does this all mean? Well, it means that I was right, and now a lot of the trolls out there know it. Just to be clear, this video isn't directed at people who legitimately liked Black Adam and are able to hear a different opinion. This is directed towards the trolls who flood my comments section and have no idea what the fuck they are talking about. I made a video before this movie's release called Nobody Cares About Black Adam, to which a lot of people took issue with. Some kindly said that they disagree, which is fine. Others told me that I don't know what I'm talking about, and now I asked those people how did that work out for you. And some even commented on the video after the movie's premiere, and tried to troll me by saying this video aged very poorly. Meanwhile, in reality, where the rest of us live, this video actually aged like fine fucking wine. Oh, it's hard goddamn work! Being this good. I told you that nobody cares about Black Adam, and he is not deserving of his own movie. I told you that the only reason that people cared about this character just a little bit was because The Rock was signed up to play him. And even that couldn't save the movie. But the whole idea behind that video is that general audiences do not know who Black Adam is, nor do they care. I don't care! And I knew, before the movie even came out, that it would not be able to convince people to want to learn more about him. Because just as the trailers advertised, this was one of the most boring and forgettable comic book movies in recent memory. And as for Black Adam being a fresh start for DC and a jumping off point to something much bigger, a DC universe where Black Adam is the big baddie that everyone fears, I guess we need to rethink that too, as I also predicted. Man, I'm tired of being right. It's kind of hard for audiences to get invested in this character as a viable threat when you can't even get enough people to show up to the theater to watch his solo movie. A lot of people proclaim that DC is back after the release of Black Adam. Yes, they are back, back in the trash where they do not belong, but where they always seem to end up because WB can't ever get their heads out of their asses long enough to stick with an actual plan. You see, the MCU might be hot garbage right now, but they have a built-in fan base that will show up to these movies out of pure obligation at this point. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. DC doesn't have that luxury because of how WB has treated these properties up until this point. It's up to WB to lure audiences in and regain their trust. And let's be honest, they were never going to do that with a movie about Black Adam. I want everybody to think about this for a minute. We don't have a Superman movie. We don't even know who Batman is in this universe. Wonder Woman is in flux. Aquaman is all fucking fish somewhere, apparently. And The Flash is out kidnapping children. Talk to you soon, okay? Bye! So what are we left with? Shazam and Black Adam. The two movies that were the DCEU equivalent to forgettable MCU entertainment. Imagine having a wealth of classic DC stories at your disposal. And the best movies you can give us is Black Adam and Shazam. Oh, and by the way, DC is under new leadership now since this movie came out, so all those Black Adam is now the focal point plans are probably out the window. Much to the detriment of The Rock's ego, of course. Because now the focal point of the DCEU will be about dick and fart jokes to appease the brain-dead idiots out there. Ha ha, very funny, motherfucker! It should be noted that James Gunn's Suicide Squad from last year also flopped, as I predicted. The only difference being that in this case, he actually got promoted somehow. It's Hollywood, baby. Who knows what's gonna happen? 
If that doesn't tell you where DC is right now creatively, then I don't know what does. See, here's the thing. You could watch one of my videos and get in your feelings and react out of pure emotion just because you don't agree with me. Or you could listen and actually try to understand what I'm saying. Because I don't just say things for the hell of it. There's always a reason for it. You see, I know what works and I know what doesn't work. And that's why nearly 3,000 people and counting have subscribed to me. Because I'm honest and because I tell the truth. Because I didn't buy into the manufactured hype that surrounded this movie. The same manufactured hype that faded only days after the movie was actually released. Nobody is even talking about this movie anymore other than this video probably. It's irrelevant. See, nobody cares. And I knew it would be the moment I watched that basic ass trailer. I also knew that it would be irrelevant based on how hard people were trying to convince other people that this was in fact going to be a good movie. Based on what exactly? The CGI and jokes about catching rockets? How about anyone who tried to dismiss my opinion? Go out and catch this L. I'm sorry that I have higher standards than you. Come up here and join me. Otherwise, stay the fuck out of my comments section. Don't waste my motherfucking time! Here's the thing, I love talking movies with people. Nothing makes me happier, actually. But you can't talk reality with entitled fanboys who like anything with a cape on it. You see, because I'm not satisfied with the bare minimum. So I encourage you to go enjoy that movie, and I'll be here right where I should be doing what I do best, and that's telling the truth. In conclusion, Black Adam sucks. It's on its way to being a flop. It most likely will be a flop, and no amount of fanboy tears is going to change that. Being a corporate apologist and attacking regular people like myself who do not agree with you is not a good look. And I want you to think about that next time you try to delegitimize someone's opinion. Especially without having a thorough comprehension of what that person is about or what they're actually trying to say. You lose! Good day, sir! Y'all be cool. Yeah, no.